we are moving on from New York City and we're actually taking the train instead of flying. We're taking the Maple Leaf Express on Amtrak. Happy travelers. It is entirely too early right now, but today we are moving on from New York City. We're heading up to Buffalo to check out some fall colors and visit some family. And we're actually taking the train instead of flying. We're taking the Maple Leaf Express on Amtrak. It's gonna be a long day, but I think it'll be nice and scenic and nice and relaxing. So we just made it to the Moynihan train station and we're a little early so I think we're gonna head to the food hall and get some food because we desperately need coffee. That would have been a short subway ride or even a walk from our hotel but it was raining and we have so much stuff. We need to learn how to pack lighter. I am all about the strong coffee and we got some blue bottle in the station and whoo, this stuff is strong. I like it. We also had to get one more bagel before we left New York. Pretty much the whole reason I came to the city was for pizza and bagels. Surprised he didn't get one more slice of pizza before we left. <laughs> Probably would have if he could have, huh? Hi, right. <laughs> All right, we've made it on the train. These seats are spacious. Yeah. There's so much leg room. I was surprised. I was like, is this coach? It's gonna make a huge difference on an eight hour ride. Yeah, this is nice. We should take the train more often. Still a little cloudy and not the best weather, but so far it's been a pretty smooth ride. I want to give you a little tour of the bathroom. So the bathroom's kind of small, but it's got really everything that you need in here. There's even a little heater down on the side, because this bathroom's located on the end of the car and right in between the cars. It's not really very well insulated, so it can get a little cold down here. Pretty basic, nice little sink there, trash can, towels, mirror. A little 120 volt outlet down here just in case you want to do some shaving or blow dry your hair or whatever else you might want to do in the bathroom on a train. It's got a good lock and a nice little light on here just to let everybody know that it's occupied. Pretty nice bathroom, nice and clean. I had myself a nice little nap. These seats are super comfortable. They've got like a recliner function and Nice and big, lots of leg room. Yeah, I'm surprised with how big they are. Probably like twice as much room as you'd have on an airplane. Yeah, this is way more comfortable. It's like flying by. I thought eight hours was gonna be ridiculous, but this is great. Let's talk a little bit more about these seats. So, nice big fold down tray, extend out. Over here on the wall, there's a couple of outlets so you can power all your, all your devices. This seat reclines back pretty far. And there's also this knob right here, which kind of kicks out a recliner for you, so pretty comfy. I've been lounging <laughs> and napping. We traveled north up the Hudson River Valley and we passed over the Hudson and now we're heading west. As we got further north, the fall colors got better and better. Hopefully we're getting out of the rain. The rain from Hurricane Ian has plagued our whole trip so far. Uh, like a 
they call it a nosh box. It's got like turkey and fruit and stuff in it and some macaroni and cheese. I have my doubts about the quality of that, but I can't resist. And it was $22 altogether. You can get hot food for seven or eight bucks and snacks and all kinds of stuff. And they're serving Starbucks coffee. Could be worse. I expected, I expected worse. Creamer made from cow's milk. It's liquid in a little baggie. That is going to be messy for me. <laughs> The little boxes that they put these in are actually really convenient. Not only does it make it a lot easier to carry, but it also keeps it from kind of sliding around as the train moves. You're gonna have my doubts. There's like airplane food. Hmm. Better or worse than expected? About what I expected. Probably should have bought a sandwich somewhere in New York to take with us. Let's try this smoked turkey box. Looks like we got some cheese, some turkey, a little bit of celery. Doesn't look terrible. Glowing recommendation. So all the food you're gonna get is really, you know, packaged and processed, but it's not too bad. I mean, in a pinch, it'll do. We should mention that there is Wi-Fi on the train, which is really awesome. Mm -hmm. Overall, I've been really comfortable. Like, there's so much room and you can get up whenever you want and yeah. just much more comfortable than a plane. Oh yeah. <laughs> train travel, at least on this trip, is definitely better than flying in an airplane. Yeah, unless you're in a pinch for time. <laughs> and then you should probably take a plane because it's a lot faster. I think we've only got about like two more hours to go too. I think you're right. Sweet. Yeah, I might be a convert to train travel now. <laughs> this is pretty good. Yeah, it's nice and comfy. I mean, I don't know if all trips would be like this, but this yeah. is pretty good. Yeah. In case you're wondering about luggage storage on the train, they have uh, like overhead racks and you can fit a big suitcase on here. Like we fit both of our big suitcases up there. So there's plenty of room. You don't have to have your bags all around you. There's tons of storage. We are almost to our station though. So we pulled them down to get ready so we can dash off the train. They just kind of slow down and you jump off real quick. Just kidding. <laughs> That'd be more fun though. All right, we made it to Buffalo. Yay! So the reason we're here is we're hanging out with this guy's family for the next week. We have some great adventures coming up, so make sure you hit the subscribe button. This is Kelly and Kevin from the Aqua Tourists. Box. Yeah. Is that what it's called? <laughs> <laughs> the Nosh. That looks better? I don't think so. I think it's better the way it was before. <laughs> no, that's not good. Train in the background. You want the sun? 